Early on in our relationship, we always talked about how one day we would own our dream house, a house above a lake in the mountains with spectacular views and lots of natural light and plenty of space to host friends and family. And then it just happened to turn out that our very first house that we ever bought was our dream house. Yeah, it is, it is definitely a really special house. And I think the main thing I'm gonna miss is how close everything is, like as far as not necessarily steamboat, but all the outdoor activities. You know, we're in walking distance from the state park. There's BLM that abuts national forest and designated wilderness less than a quarter mile here. You could walk to a gold medal trout stream if you really wanted to. I am going to miss all of that. One of the things that I have lived many places and haven't found before is the quality of the community here in our neighborhood. Uh, you kind of have the best of both worlds because you don't have next door neighbors. You have lots of elbow room, um, but then you also have this really supportive and engaged community when you do want to see your neighbors. As you walk in the door, the first thing you see is the west-facing views of the lake and the natural light streaming in. There is a full wall of windows with a high vaulted ceiling. And one of the things that we love to do is just sit here and watch the sunset. Yeah, and then, I mean, immediately attached to the great room or integrated into the great room is a wonderful kitchen um, with a butcher top style island. It's great for cooking. We eat a lot of meals there. Fantastic appliances, and we love having folks over for um, potluck style meals where we're cooking and socializing at the same time. And then immediately offset from that front door as you move through the room is a patio door that leads out to this wonderful deck. Again, that overlooks the lake, overlooks um, the mountains to the south, it, that is completely covered, and then has that wonderful fire pit immediately next to it. As we move back off of the great room, there are two bedrooms back there um, and a full bathroom and then a laundry room with a lot of storage in it. So perched above the great room is the master suite and that has a bedroom with vaulted ceilings, a walk-in closet and a beautiful bathroom with dual shower heads and great big custom mirrors. And we love it because it is east facing and so you have amazing morning light streaming in. So the lower level is actually walk out. Two sets of French doors. Going on to the patio, the limestone patio at, at kind of that garden level. And you have wonderful evening sunlight streaming into the living room and the bedroom downstairs. Uh, we have cork floors throughout and uh, there's also an extra room, a game room. Um, yeah, the game room and then all of the solar equipment's down there in the utility room. This house is part of the South Shore neighborhood in Stagecoach and all all the houses in our neighborhood are off the grid. Living off the grid is not for everybody, but something that we didn't even realize when we were first buying this house was how well it was set up intentionally when it was built to be off the grid. Yeah, it's very well insulated, holds the heat well in the winter. You have to water the batteries once a month, so it feels like you have some really low maintenance pets and you get to watch uh, the battery panel as it ticks up every sunny day, which is kind of fun. It's like playing a video game. It's really about the views, and it's not just the lake and the state park. Yeah, you can see the old uh, stagecoach ski area, which is really cool. Yeah, and the flat tops, you can see them from here. Um, Blacktail Mountain is elk wintering habitat, so how many mornings have we sat here and counted several hundred elk walking around on that thing? Lots of wildlife, and yeah. sometimes we just sit in our living room as the sun sets and watch the sunset as though it were TV. 